What's going on, DMG clan? Today we're going to be setting up the real time save R4 card that looks like this and has R4ISDHC.com on the back on the little board. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. In 2024, the year doesn't matter. So let's learn some more. All right, mobile gamers. So if your R4 card says real time save on the front, just like these ones do. And it also says r4isdhc.com on the back on the board. And it loads into a menu or a game called Bomberman. This guide is for you. If you didn't listen to this introduction and you said that this R4 card guide did not work for you, that means that you must have a different card or you didn't follow the guide on how to set this up. The next thing we're going to do is jump over to our computer and download the R4 real-time save r4isdhc.com folder or zip file that I have created for you. You're also going to download the AOMEI partition assistant. That is a tool to format your cards up to 512 gigabytes as these R4 cards do work up to 512 gigabytes. On the table here, we have a 512 gigabyte card. I have a 256 and a 32 gigabyte. The 32 gigabyte cards and below, you can format with anything that is on your computer. Now the AOMEI partition assistant only works for Windows, sorry Mac users. I don't plan on getting a Mac to do that for you. You need to learn how to do that yourself. But it does work up to 512 gigabytes and that's what we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna be plugging this in to the dongle that was given to me with these R4 cards. You can use this adapter right here as well with the card if you want to, but my PC doesn't have that option. So we're gonna plug this right into this little dongle here and plug it into our computer. Now that that card is plugged into the computer, we're gonna open up AOMEI Partition Assistant. I'm not gonna teach you how to install that. I put a guide in the actual zip file that says how to install. So just follow that guide and install this program that you see here. Now that you have this installed, you're gonna actually select your R4 card, SD card, which is this one right here for me. You're gonna right click it. You're gonna type on or click on format partition. You can name this R4 card, and then you can go down to file system, click FAT32, make sure the cluster size is set to 32 kilobytes and click okay. Click apply on the top left-hand side, make sure you do that. Otherwise you won't actually format anything. It's just pre-set up and then click proceed. Click yes to start and you'll be on your way to format your SD card. Now that that's done, we're just gonna wait for this to finish loading, and we're gonna close out of AOMEI Partition System. Now, we should have a formatted R4 SD card. If we click right, go to Properties, we'll be able to see that it's formatted to FAT32, which is great. We're gonna open up another tab, we're gonna go to our Downloads folder, wherever that's located on your computer, and we're going to right-click on the R4, real-time save r4isdhc.com, and press Zip, and click Extract All. This is going to give you an option where you want to extract it. I'm going to just extract it just the way that it is so that it goes right into its own folder. Now that that's extracted, as you can see, we have a folder here. I'm going to repeat this twice. If you copy this folder into your root of your SD card and you tell me that you've done that and didn't follow this guide, that means that you need to subscribe to another channel. That's all I'm gonna say. Just kidding. Subscribe anyways, because I've helped you with this and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So navigate into all of these, this folder right here and copy all of these folders right to the root of your SD card. The only reason why I said that is just because I've shared multiple guides about this and shown you how to do this. And I've had people tell me that they've just copied the folder directly. And then that's why the card wasn't working because they just downloaded it and didn't follow the guide. Now, as you can see, I have multiple folders here. Inside of these folders are emulators. These are emulators. They are sort of finicky to some people, and there are guides, and I might do guides about each emulator down the road, but today I'm just gonna show you how to play NDS games and set up your cheats and your RTS menu for the NDS games. I'm not gonna go into how to play Super Nintendo, I'm going to tell you now, if you're going to try to play Sega Genesis, I have a README file in there, so read that. Otherwise, we're just going to be setting up Nintendo DS games because I don't want to make this video too long for anybody. 
I'm going to copy my NDS ROMs over to that the NDS folder, which is this one right here. I've kind of categorized each folder accordingly. And if you copy SNES games right into the NES folder and then start playing with the NDS or SNES uh, NDS emulator, you'll be able to play some Super Nintendo games without any problems either because I have the config file right here. So I'm going to copy all of my games that I'm going to be showing you today, which is only just the one into my NDS folder, just like so. We're going to unplug this from our computer and we're just going to pick an R4 card. I'm going to use the 2021 card here and I'm going to put all this stuff aside and I'm using the NDS XL. The reason for this is just because I can see it. It does work. This R4 card does work for the 3DS, the DSL, the 2DS XL. It works for every car, every device out there. You can tell by the front of the card, it does tell you what it works for. Another thing to note, this does not work for playing 3DS games. Again, it does not work for playing 3DS games. If I hear that you've asked me that question and didn't make it this far, then sorry, I probably won't answer that question because I've already answered it. Now, inside of our main menu screen, we'll see Bomberman. As you can see there, click A to play it and it'll load right into the r4isdhc.com menu. Now we're going to click on or press A on the Xbox 360 controller, and you'll see all these emulators right here. Now your game should pop up right here, and I'm going to show you how to activate cheats. So click B, click on cheat to be on, click on must be on to that checkbox. I'm going to go down to game enhancer and click on the checkbox for skip intro. I'm going to click save and I'm going to click B again. This is your real time save menu. Now, this is important because if you want to use the real time save function, we're going to click on RTS. This will give you the option to add multiple different save locations. Now you can add up to four, which is ABC and D. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add RTS A and B. I only need two. click B, click B again. Now you need to make sure that RTS is turned on. And this is game specific. You need to make sure that you turn this on per game if you want to use the RTS function. Click save, click it again, click B, and then you can navigate and jump into your game. Now, if you want to click B again, just to make sure that everything is turned on accordingly, you can do so, and it is. So now let's click A to play our NDS game, and I'm going to show you how to use that RTS function. Now that we're in the menu, we're going to click L, R, A, and B. This is your RTS menu. This will allow you to save to those whatever slot you want. So if you've saved that slot right now to save A, it'll load, it'll load, it'll load. Make sure you wait for that to load. Don't touch anything or exit anything. Otherwise, you'll get a corrupt file. And if I go back into that menu and click load A, it'll load back to where I was. Now I'm going to click A on new game. And I'm going to show you that RTS and that cheat function as that cheat function worked. It skipped the intro and I'm going to go into a game. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save my state inside this game by pressing those buttons to slot B. And there we go. Now I'm going to go back into that save state menu and I'm going to load A again, which will navigate back to the home menu. Now I'm going to load save state B and this will load us back into the game that we were just recently playing. And there we go. So now we can start playing our game. The next thing I'm going to let you know is how to exit the menu. This only works for DS games. It doesn't work for emulators. Emulators, you have to actually either turn off the device or click on the home button. So I'm going to save my state quickly here to slot A. Now I'm going to exit the game by clicking the same buttons and I'm going to go down to return to menu. Again, this only works for Nintendo DS games. It does not work for any of these emulators. You have to actually manually exit them. Now, most of these emulators do allow you to navigate inside if you want to switch a game inside the actual emulator itself. Some emulators are kind of buggy and some emulators don't run every game. There are compatibility lists that you can check out to make sure which games work. So basically, that is it on this card, specifically the real-time save card that says r4isdhc.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to send me a super thanks if you actually enjoyed setting up your card, your R4 card today and you were able to play it because I do have the super thanks option on every video. If you want to become a member, become a member as well. Members get perks. They get access to certain things, certain videos early. They also get access to guides and stuff like that that are private guides 
And if you become a Patreon, I have some other informative stuff on Patreon for paid members on the Patreon. Have a nice day, guys. Enjoy gaming on your R4 card, your real-time save R4 card. That says Bomberman in 2024 and beyond.